Another glorious day on Stin's farm. Um, what's that I can smell? Oh, it smells like ripe chilies. Okay, time to harvest some. Whoa! like some kind of mini twilight forest deep underground and and what's what's this giant glass dome thing this this is the world as you know it corrupted polluted on the brink of calamity. There is no hope left for this land anymore. Almost all the light is gone. I have seen the pain and destruction your people have inflicted upon Mother Nature. She chokes on the pollution your modded factories fill the atmosphere with. She drowns in the radioactive waste left behind from your nuclear bombs and her very skin crawls with the evil taint of flux. Once I thought to wage war, banishing the naughty grey man to the Twinkle Forest, but it was a fight I alone could never win. I am Oberon, King of the Fairies and Protector of Gaia, and you are to become my champion. I have seen that you have long been a protector of the balance, and I send you now to another world in danger of suffering a fate similar to this one. Step through this fabulous portal, and I shall send further instructions. Good luck! All right, Oberon, you can count on me. How's it going? How are you? What are you doing? Did, did Oberon send you through too? Who's Oberon? Uh, never mind. The, the guy. The, the, the guy through, through the portal. You remember the portal? I don't remember. I think I must have had my mind erased. Oh no! Who is he? <laughs> He's the king of the fairies. Uh, you're not allowed to call him that now. It's homosexual, Jim. That's what they call him. No, no, he's he's like like you've seen him in *Summer Night's Dream*, right? No, I haven't. Oh, okay. well, never I've mind. I've read the book. The book was better. <laughs> it's a play. You can see it. You can see a play. It's not a movie. Is it a movie? Maybe there was. It was a movie. originally written as a play, wasn't it? I think so. *Midsummer Night's Dream*, starring Liam Neeson as Oberon. Oh, check oh. out my chiefs. For punching stuff. Oh, look at the fireworks! They're beautiful. Oh my god! So we're gonna get we're gonna get all the chiefs, all the happiness. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Every time we make a tool or dig a hole or go into the inventory. Oh no, I didn't get one from going into the inventory. So uh, there, there you go. Never so mind. welcome back to yeah. uh, the series. I'm back. How are you doing? Um, Have yeah. you missed me? I really did. You know what happened to you? You just like kind of bailed on the farm. And then you went and you did some more work at Zipsco, and then me and Duncan came to investigate a murder there, but you weren't anywhere to be seen. What happened to you, man? You like fell off the face of the earth. And it was Christmas. So oh, it was, it was tough. Oh, Christmas, right? There was a lot to be doing. You had to fly around the world and deliver all his presents to all the kids. I did. But um, Oberon has has decided to give us some directions here in in the form of a book. Right. And uh, yeah, did you want to come and check that, check out this book? See what he said. Oberon's book. Oberon's book. Sure. Let's let's just grab that. Right. <clears throat> Heroes. Whoa! If whoa, you're whoa. reading this, he congratulations! Oh you went through the portal and didn't explode. 
I'll relay tasks to you through this portal tree. Check back frequently for further instructions. <laughs> he does. He does not sound like he's this a fairy. Is, oh, my, th- this is this is task very, no. one. <laughs> Your first task, heroes, is to build a cool base where you can survive. <laughs> this world is incredibly pa- dangerous. Powerful monsters are everywhere. Decorate your crib so it looks the business. I've left you a few resources to help. Good luck. How much of this are you making up? The business? Our that's crib what he says. The business? That's not. That's not what a fairy would say. That's what he said. So, over, okay, cool. I didn't know what to expect from this series, Shin, but I'm enjoying it already. Your skin is attractive. Thank you. We're recording in 60 FPS, even though this client is running at oh, like yeah. 50 because it's uh, really laggy. Mod pack, mod pack troubles, eh? So, Oberon's all about nature and love and stuff, right? I guess. He's a fairy, right? Look at my inventory. It's perfectly set up for um, her- her- herbal herbalism. Is we'd, it? we'd some more uh, chests, though, to carry all of these uh, lovely things I've got. Well, we're going to need to. What did Oberon say in the book? He said we needed to build a crib. A build a crib? I think that's pretty much standard Minecraft stuff, isn't it? Standard night one, survive night one, build a bed. I'm going to get some more fireworks, Jim. Now, I think this mod is, this mod pack's got that, that thing. That means if one person sleeps, or if the majority of the people sleep, you uh, you pass the night. So we shouldn't need, only need one bed to start okay. with. Uh, I'm gonna dash off quickly in a in a rush. I'll be back in a tick. Right. But we've got to find ourselves some sheep, ASAP. Okay. So that you we can get search some for sheep. What do you want me to do here? Uh, I'm not quite sure. I, I figure we want to build a house, right? But if we're gonna be like servants of Oberon, I guess I guess if he's the king, we're kind of the knights. We're fairy knights, right? We're fairy knights. What is this series gonna be called? I guess. Fairy knights. Fairy knights. With a Z. With a Z. Yeah. If, if that's what you want to call it. <laughs> Knights. knights. I don't know. No, I don't feel like we're knights. If we're the servants of a fairy king, aren't we like hermits or like druids or like... Um... Druids! Actually, we are kind of nature's guardians. We're protecting the world from devastation to unite all nations within our... But we're kind of supposed to be quite badass and druids aren't typically badass. I don't know. Are they, they are. Have you ever have you never played that game, Mystery of the Druids? Druids with a Z. They Mystery sound of the badass. Druids with a, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. We are like badass druids. You know, it's like nobody thought wizards were badass. Druids. Okay, so basically it's like me and you wearing sunglasses back to back, crossing our arms, right? Yeah, yeah. Holding up like a flower. Like a Yeah. And wearing yeah. like a like a a a a a, 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 a pineapple on the head. Like nat- something naturey hat. <laughs> Nature hat. I'm not sure druids really wear pineapples. There, there are actually real druids in real life, you know. In real life. Well, yeah, because we live in uh, Bristol. Spoilers, but there's uh, there's a, a world heritage site nearby that's very druidic. You know mm-hmm. what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? Oh, what you mean the Stonehenge? Stonehenge. Maybe we should build our base themed around Stonehenge. That's a good idea. I was also thinking there's a, 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 a huge a huge. Uh, clonking tree right next to our crib, our uh, our, our portal. Right. Why not build a tree house? Oh, what, that massive tree there? Yeah. Okay, let me build Stonehenge first. I think, okay. <laughs> I think, I think those trees actually come hollowed out as well. What does Stonehenge look like? Like, um, well, it, I think it used to look like a circle of trees. Now it looks, a uh, uh, trees, a uh, circle of stones. Now it actually looks like a few, a few broken bits of rock. Um. There's not much left. It's, can I hear a cat? Oh my god, there's an enderminey here. Oh. It's like an enderman. It's like don't, a mini enderman. Don't, don't, don't even think about it trying to kill it. It's a neutral mob. It attacks creepers. Oh, really? I think it's just like a little local nymph that lives around Stonehenge. Oh. Which I'm currently in the process of building. Like a pixie. Um, what does... I can't remember what Stonehenge looks like, Shin. It's You're like gonna um, have to help me. It's like uh, doorways, stone doorways in in like a circle, right? Yeah, like that. Um, only not as bad. I can't see what you're doing, but I have ultimate faith in you, Lewis. You've been playing Minecraft now for what, five, six, seven years? Yeah, yeah. So um, you're a seasoned Minecrafter. I'm sure you'll you'll come up with something spectacular. It's a square. <laughs> well, it's in Minecraft, so uh, okay. what did you expect? I don't know. <laughs> Look, you can jump on top of it as well if you want. Oh it's got because I ran out of stone, so it's got like you can get up on the top. Oh, not good. I can hear creatures of the night. Oh, it's very dark, Shin. It's very, very dark. There's a creeper there. 
He's coming for Stonehenge. No! It's fine. <laughs> he's, he's, it's gonna blow it up. So I've not played Minecraft in a while. Well, I have, but I've mostly been playing kind of silly stuff. I've not played modded. Well, actually, no, that's not true. We played a bit Blast Off, didn't we? Yeah, but these kind of tailored mod packs, like Blast Off, they're very different to, to regular modded Minecraft. They're very structured. Okay, I'm sleeping. And less laggy. Yeah. This. Do you know? People at home don't know how long this takes to load. Well, maybe they oh. do, but yeah, there we go. Good job, Shin. Only I need to sleep, which is great. That means one person. Oh, but the creeper is still there. It's fifty percent enough. This is awkward. Yeah. Don't you dare! <laughs> don't you dare block He's this. He's gonna take out Stonehenge. Okay, you know, I almost want to let him do it. <laughs> Why would you want that? Cause, cause, right. Oh my god! Good job, Shin. There we go. It, this does. This does actually look kind of like Stonehenge. Um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like it. Although what I'm thinking is like the actual Stonehenge um, isn't quite as straight as this, is it? It, it looks a bit crapper. It's wonkier. It looks a bit crapper. That the druids <laughs> wouldn't appreciate that, well, would they? Well, well, I'm a druid now. Look, so if I can... we're going to be called druids with a Z, with a Z, um, we're going to need a cracking, dr cracking, a, a ripping, whipping. A ripping. Druid a whipping, pad. A whipping druid pad. Oh my I'm god. Not, I'm not sure I want what the, the hell's a, happened. Any part of your whipping druid pad. There's a is that Oberon over there? Oh no, that might be his missus there. That's Titania. Uh oh. What are we gonna do about it? Oh she's, she's got a she's got a potion. Is she coming to check she's on us? She's got a potion! Leg it shin. She's gonna she's Oh! <laughs> she's spit she's chucking stuff at me. Oh what a what a menace of society. <laughs> I think I think Oberon would forgive us if we took her out. Do you think so? Yeah, let's do it. Where's Take she around. gone? I've lost her. Oh, she's hit me with oh. a poison potion. Die! It's a witch! Oh. What did she drop? I don't know. Medicinal salve. Sounds like I could do with some of that. I'm poisoned for the next <laughs> ever. For the next ever. Where are you? Up here. You're hiding on Stonehenge. All right, take this. 20 seconds of poison. Give me that medicinal salve. Does it work? It might be like count... No, I'm rubbing it on my face. <laughs> it's not working. Did she poison your face? I don't know. Well, I've still got another. Okay, I'll be fine. Don't oh, worry. Oh, dear. So. You don't smell fine. Treehouse. Treehouse. Do you think that's, that counts as a cracking druid pad? I suppose it is quite druidy. That's as druidy as you get, I don't right? really know how to build it. anything. <laughs> I was going to say a treehouse, but then I <laughs> adjusted and updated my say, my words to I don't know how to build anything at all. Well, all right, let's think about it, right? Because a treehouse is high up in a tree. Yeah. So how do you, how do you, look, imagine, you've seen The Simpsons, right? Bart has a tree house. Oh my God, it has an entrance. Did you dig this? No, these trees are all hollow. This isn't, Dudway doesn't look hollow. No, these, these, these massive trees are all, oh, maybe they're not. I didn't dig this entrance though. Maybe, um. Why has it got a little entrance then? I don't know. Maybe if I build a lad, make some ladders, I can go right the way to the top. It's taking a while, isn't it, to uh, to, to, to axe these um, Well, these when things. you're standing on a... Oops. Well, it's tough wood. It's redwood right from the heart of the... Um, right from the heart of the... Heart of the tree. Heart of the tree. Heart of the cards. Heart of the cards. Oh, man. So, did, did you see any of these big trees when you were on holiday in Canada? Um, redwoods? Yeah. No, I didn't, actually. I spent most of my time in the mountains. Right. Where there aren't that many big trees. Did there you wasn't... do any druidic things? Snowboarded. So I'm not sure that's very druidy. Well, no, it kind of is. And maybe if you were snowboarding on the back of like a badger or something, <sighs> a creature of the wild. Actually, I was I was snowboarding uh, on a beaver tail. Right. Oh well, that's quite druidic. Actually... Are you smoking some marijuana while you're doing it? <laughs> that's very, it's very Vancouveran. It's very druidic. Very druidic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Um... I don't think Vancouverans are necessarily. Uh, marijuana smokers are they or are they is it legal there or not I don't know but every time I watch the BlizzCon show Jay uh, what's his name Jay Jay Moore Jay Moore uh, always says hi to the Vancouverites smoking weed at the back really so I guess it's a thing right maybe 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 it is like medical I don't know I don't know I, all, all I know for sure is that Jay hasn't been to Bristol how do you feel uh, as a druid about marijuana's legal status I, I um legal status yeah I don't know. Well, do you think it's good for medicinal purposes? I feel, I feel like, um, I feel like a, a politician being put on the spot right here. Yeah, you're running for government uh, in the Druid Council. I think the important thing isn't whether drugs should or shouldn't be legal, but what we should really be thinking about is the state of the union and taxes. And am I being sufficiently political right now? Very. You're, you're going to go up for election as the next Druid.
king. I promised to abolish all cheating of Yogg's Cast Minecraft series. Oh my god, that's a big that's a big promise. Well, I'm a politician. I can't help but make promises I can't keep. Uh, are you still with me? Yes. No. Well, uh, in 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 the in the kind of it's conversational pitch sense. It's black or... up here. Oh, I've got some torches. Did I not give you some? Well, I can't, I can't put them down because obviously it's a one thick shaft. Oh. With a ladder in it. Oh, I'll keep I'll keep following up your rear. Uh, Do you want to dig out to see how high we are? Okay. Um, when I get to your level, because I'm, I'm, I'm get on my level. Shit. I'm not on your level. Not not by oh, a long thank shot. You. Oh, I need some bread. Oh, flippin' heck. There's a couple of mods that might blindside you, actually, if you're not careful. Because uh, there's the, the hunger modification mod that means you get more hunger from using different food, so we can't just binge on bread forever. Oh. A lot like Blast Off, only qu hopefully not quite as crazy. Not quite as cruel. Blast Off is, is, is a tough beast. Is a, she's a tough maiden. She is a unforgiving wench of a mod pack. Yeah, I, I'll say. I'll say. We are about, let's see, we're quite high up, but not that high up. Um, How high have you got to go? <laughs> uh, I guess, uh, you're getting there. I can't see anything. I'm just going to keep digging in the dark. I hope I'm doing all right. You're doing good. You're doing fine. You're doing, you're doing great. You're a trooper. Thanks, Chin. I'm, uh, I'm lighting you up. Okay, cool. Uh, light me up. <laughs> light me up, sweet cheek. Let's smoke a big one in here. Actually, you've got to be careful not to, because otherwise we might set the oh, on fire. Oh, no, can you imagine? No, trees are actually trees are actually quite hard to set on fire. Are they? Well, yeah, because they're, they're, they're damp and moist, because trees suck water out of the ground, right? So there's so much moisture. Oh, they have a lot of sap, I suppose. Yeah, in a tree. They're kind of built to withstand fire. That's why often you'll see a tree in like the middle of like a volcano or something, completely untouched. Really? Yeah, magma what can't even touch it. I didn't even know that they resist. I didn't know that trees resist to fire. Everything that games have taught me, Shin, is wrong. You Every, know, you know games lie to you. Grass a lot. Pokemon, they just get set on fire really easily. But actually, grass doesn't burn. I think we should stop here. You, you think so? Yeah, I think we're high I think enough. we should end the series. <laughs> we're done. I think that's enough. It's done. We're, oh. oh. Oh, thank you for watching Druids. Druids with a Z. And I uh, hope, you, hope you've enjoyed it all. What are we doing? This I'm going to keep going until I get out the top. Because because eventually, Shin, yeah. we are going to need to get a view of a watchtower over the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As Druids, we can survey what's going on. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll build a viewing platform right now on this bit that I've that I've plonked out, and it'll go all the way around the tree. Okay, you build a lower viewing platform. A lower viewing platform. And I will build the upper viewing platform. Oh, let me tell you, the view from here is pretty grand. I'll tell you what we could do, Shin. Once we've built, like, onto the top of the tree, we can build, get, like, uh, nests up there for, like, eagles and things. Eagles? Yeah. But what if there's no eagles in the mod pack? Uh, oh, well, are we what, role playing? Whatever the, ne the next best thing is. Like chocobos? To, well, yeah, I guess they could fly off the top. They can't fly. They would just fall to their death. But that might be funny. I, I am just trusting that I'm digging in the right direction here, by the way. Yeah, I'm sure you are. Oh, it's getting it's getting dark. I'm going to go down to the bottom and sleep. Actually, I tell you what, I'm going to bring the bed up to the viewing platform. Oh, that's a nice idea. Because it's, it's super safe up there. It's super safe. Super, super safe. Super, S super safe. So we should tell the viewers about this 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 fancy new recording setup we've got because we're, uh, we're recording in a shiny 60 frames per second, right? We've got a... Uh, we're recording in Shin's Druid Shed. Yeah. He built it himself. Um, <laughs> I did. Oh. And it does leak a bit. It's completely fire resistant. 100%. It's made out of wood. Yeah, wood. <laughs> <laughs> so it will never burn down. This little piggy made his house out of wood, and there's no way that crazy wolf is getting in. Or fire. Oh my god. I can't. What have I built? This is really weird. I'm going to go away from the tree and see how high up you are. Can, can you dig out from where, where you are so I can see you? Um. How? The which which way? Towards the green arrow. Towards on the, the green map. arrow. Yeah, sure. Is that south or north? Okay, let's dig this way. I can't do. I can't, I'm 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 I'm, ex I'm examining the screen now. Where are you? It is completely. I'm literally digging completely in the black. Ah, oh, oh, there you out. are. I see a hole. How far is that? Uh, and you're right near the top. That's perfect. Is that it? Is that, all, is that perfect? That is just underneath the leaf level. You'll be able to see, won't you, if you pop your head out? Hang on, I'm a bit scared to do the jump across. Okay, oh. there we are. Oh, 
Hello! Shin. Finally, for the first time in about half an hour, I've managed to lift my sh my finger off the um, shift key. <laughs> my little finger is like, oh look, Stonehenge looks great from up here. <laughs> Stonehenge oh, it's looks so really good. great from a mile away. Mm. If you squint. I, I tell you what I need to do, I need a little bit more smooth stone. I can finish off that last doorway. Well, actually, yeah, those last two doorways. I tell you what, shall I bring up oh, some Oh, there's of like these... a building over there. The where? where? A, co a, a sort of a building. Okay. Oh, is that the cobblestone thing I saw earlier? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is that? I'll head over and check it out. Is it the direction I'm going Careful in? with that blue water. That does not look healthy, does it? Shall I take a dip? That's nice. I'll dip my toes. See what it is. It can't kill me. It might. See, we'll see what it is. It might... Ooh! Is it killing you? I, I, it's, I'm weak. It's wither and I'm nauseous. Oh, that's not very good at all. That's pretty, it's pretty, pretty bad. Okay, so from here I can see a pink tree, an orange tree, a big old tree over there. I washed it off. I can see a sort of d a, an area of darkness around here, which looks like it might be like a Thorncrafty thing. Oh no! Are we close enough to a Thorncraft biome for? And it there to... is a few concrete buildings I can see in the distance that way and that way. Concrete buildings. Yeah, stay where you are. So what's that thing? This is. These are mossy stone bricks. Oh, it's, it's a little, it's a dungeon. I can go in here. It's a little... I'm gonna... Take, mini dunge. I'm gonna take a look. Okay, be careful, shit. It's alright, I've got torches. I'm, 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 I'm watching out I'm just resting... Um, oh, the string on the floor. resting my legs and uh, drinking green tea. Neither of us actually smoke, do we, Shin? No. And we do not Ooh. recommend it to anyone because, for God's sake, don't smoke, children. Don't smoke. Or adults. If you're an adult and you smoke, you should quit. I tried to get uh, Tom to quit smoking, but he it didn't work. Did he I, just... I bought him, like, um... Nicorette? A, a, a vaporizer. Yeah, a vaporizer. Wow. Pyrian quit smoking and he... does the vaping instead. Pyrian quit smoking and then years later started vaping. Yeah, and now he's even worse. <laughs> but vaporizers don't actually um, use tobacco, do they? It's, it's... Well, they still give you the sort of... The nicotine, which is its own... It's a questionable whether that's, that's as bad. Good. Certainly it's not as bad as the um, tar and stuff. That I'll tell you what, though. I've, uh, I've, I've hit the jackpot down here. Tell me more. Uh, there, was a, there was a trap. I successfully disarmed it, though. Hmm. And... Uh, Using your druidic skills. Yeah, my druidic of skills. Of trap detection. Trap detection. I'm a survivalist. And in the chest is... And, and brace, brace, brace yourself. I haven't opened it yet. I've braced. Oh! Two saddles. Standard binding agent from Alchemical Wizardry. Okay, whatever. Conduit probe from I God knows what. A mega rubber sapling. A mega rubber sapling. That sounds amazing. A mega rubber sapling. A mega rubber sapling. Two ender pearls. I'm excited. Iron horse armor. Whoa. Miniature red heart and uh, five ender lily seeds. Five. No way. Ender lily seeds. This is this is a real treasure trove. Actually. That is a real haul. That means we're gonna get a real head start on getting ender pearls for stuff. So this looks like a sort of darky, thorny area over here. I don't know if you saw this. Oh, yes, okay. What? What's up? What's... Oh, we've got an altar. Oh, oh Jesus Christ! Whoa! Whoa, oh. what? <laughs> oh my God, that scared the living crap out of me. What There's a done? defender. Oh, I'm coming, I'm There's coming, I'm coming. There's a ghostly defender shit. I'm nearby. I don't think we want to go there. He looks really scary. It frightened the living daylights out of me. 